Hello there, this is Dimitris Christou and I'm back with another Blender video tutorial. This is going to be pretty fast. I'm going to hit Shift A and add my plane. I've deleted the default cube. And I'll hit 7 and then 5 on my mirror keypad for the top overview. I'll move over to the modifiers. Click Add Modifier. And I'm going to add a subdivision surface modifier. Okay. I'll set it to simple. What I want to do is not to change the shape of the object, but just to add some more faces, some more geometry to it. I'm setting it up to 4 for view and blender. And what I'll do now is change from object mode to sculpt mode. Okay. I'll expand the dino topo options, enable the dino topo, and what the Let's apply the subsurf modifier, okay. Now enable the Dino Topo. What the Dino Topo does is that it generates more geometry as we're sculpting our object. I'm going to change the brush, let's set it to snake hook. I'll bring the Dino Topo detail from uh, 12, let's set it down to 8. And by bringing this one down, you're generating more detail on your object. I think we're good. You can also hit F to change the radius of your uh, brush. So let's begin. Starting from the plane, hitting the left mouse button and holding it down. And as you can see, we can create some nice interesting results here. Now what we're also having is the, is the symmetry. We have X symmetry, we can also set it to X, Y and Z to create interesting shapes and all. Okay. All right. Let's say that we get something that we like. I'm going to change from sculpt mode to object mode. We have some crazy uh, vertices here, so you can easily delete them by selecting them, hitting down the, or perhaps let's hit 7 for the top overview. I'm not going to bore you by selecting and deleting each and every one of them. Let's roughly select those. And you're getting these faces and vertices because you're pushing the geometry of the plane a bit too much by uh, enabling and using the dino top on it. Okay, let's say that we're good. I'll hit X and delete vertices. And you can further delete more vertices if you feel the need to do so. I'll hit the tab key. Move over to the modifiers. I'll add a Remus modifier and set it to blocks and obviously what we also have to do is add a, th a third dimension to our object so i'm going to add a solidify modifier and bring this one above i'm clicking the up arrow to bring this one above the remus modifier now i'll bring the oct3 depth for the remus modifier app we want to have more detail on our object and i'll also bring the solidify thickness app okay Let's set it to 1.5, all right. And now I'll apply the solidify and the remus modifier. Let's apply them both. And we're having this shape right here, this object right here, and this is a mesh, so you can easily hit the tab key and switch to edit mode and modify the mesh further on. I'm hitting control tab and changing my selection mode to faces. I'll also put the cursor back to the center. Okay, I'll hit one on my mirror keypad for the front author view. And hit B, click and drag. I want to select those faces right here. And also I'm going to check this one. So we can select the faces that we can see. Hit B again, okay. 
what I want to have is uh, the bottom uh, faces here not to be selected, all right? I'm going to change into individual origins for the pivot point of the selected objects when I'm operating on them. And I'll also click extrude individual to extrude every face I've selected individually. Okay. Right mouse button click to cancel any movement for the extruded faces. And I'll hit S to scale them down, scale them down a bit. Okay. And now extrude region. And let's extrude them. We're getting a bit crazy here. Okay, let's extrude them at about here. All right. Hitting tab again. And you can see what we're getting. Now I won't be uh, bothering you with setting up a scene materials and all that. But this is pretty much the technique I used to put together this image right here. So this is how you're going to model this odd shape. Feel free to experiment with um, the procedure and all. Use your own lights, your own materials and whatnot. I'm pretty sure you can get a pretty cool result by experimenting and working with this technique. So this is Dimitris Christou and thanks for watching.